Hello viewers, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're well and that you're staying safe and that you're finding happiness in the midst of um, chaos and um, sometimes doom and gloom, uh, that you're still connecting with a spark of uh, hope and that you understand that we will, this too will pass, we will move through this um and uh and one day we're going you know we're going to wake up and uh these times will be in the past and we'll be uh moving into the future so um i want to take a look at dr rick bright um i want to see if uh there will be that investigation that he's de been demanding now as you know when i read originally on trump's response uh to uh cv I suggested that there were business people, pharmaceuticals, all in the same um, room, and they were determining policy, um, which was really scary. Uh, also around the stimulus package, I also suggested that there, the devil was in the detail and that, the, that uh, because of the times, uh, it was rushed through, had to be rushed through, and that there would need to be an investigation, that this whole... Uh, U.S. Uh, president's uh, actions around the, the the handling and the management of this would need to be investigated. If you looked at my uh, reading for Trump in May, uh, huge emphasis on whistleblowers. I would assume that every reading I will do uh, from here on in uh, that has to do with Donald Trump will bring forward a whistleblower because I feel that the pace of um, the truth emerging is there's a quickening of it. So I expect to see um, I expect to see the page of uh, swords and the page of cups come up a lot in the readings. But let's go to uh, Dr. Rick Bright. Dr. Bright, um, he's demanding he's lodged a whistleblower complaint. Um, he was in charge of developing um, developing uh, vaccines. He's, as I understand it, very highly regarded um, at your um, HHS, I think it is. Um, and he directly, he's very senior in his particular division. I think he's a deputy kind of uh, secretary there um, within his division. Uh, but working closely with um, the cabinet sec secretary, Azars. Um, I feel that Azars will be uh, asked to step down in the near future um, because this is going. This has got legs. It's just gonna. It's not going to go away. And Trump, in order to manage this, um, and again, we know he's very concerned about November potentially losing the election. We'll look for a victim, a guy, a fall guy, and it could be that this secretary might not um, be able to hold on to his position. Um, but let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. Also, will the Dems move to investigate this? They will. I think he's he he will speak before the Congress. And uh, have there been any laws broken which could lead to an, another impeachment proceeding? Um, the way we're going, uh, it looks like this president could even be um, impeached multiple times as things uh, keep. Uh, falling out as the truth keeps emerging. So let's have a look. Um, let's first of all look is, uh, okay, something's come out, and of course it is the Five of Swords. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot today. The Five of Swords is all about an abuse of power. Uh, that's just jumped out at me. So I was going to ask um, to show me the complaint. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Um, is show me the complaint is this true has there been this abuse of power um and what is likely to occur with this has there been this abuse of power and what is likely to occur with this okay so we've got the seven uh the seven of wands somebody is needing to defend themselves um literally uh, this will be Trump, he will feel, um, because Dr. Bright is saying that he warned him uh, continually, warned uh, the cabinet secretary, his superiors, um, 
that of the need to um, uh, increase the stockpile, uh, particularly around PPE and ventilators, uh, and all of those warnings went um, unhind uh, un unheeded. Um, he also wanted to sequence the virus in January, around January the tenth or eleventh, I think it was, and he met he got he met with resistance. So. He's he's really uh, put this uh, regime on uh, on the spot here. They're going to have to answer these, I feel. So that tells me uh, whatever Bright brings forward in Congress is going to be pretty explosive. Indeed, if you've got time to read his um, complaint, it's quite hefty. Um, by all means, um, you know, do so. We've got the magician, so cronyism, um, warnings but you know not being taken seriously um people with their fingers in the pots their pot the pot um uh, uh i guess things like um uh treatments and drugs being pushed for profit that were bordering on um quackery i'll just put it like that so the challenge here is uh the actualizing something into reality so what that tells me is that this will put Trump's mismanagement of the um, pandemic right on the agenda uh, because they will have to defend what they created. The results are speaking for themselves. They will have to defend what they have created. The reality that is facing the US has been on their watch it is what they manifested, what they actualized into re, uh, reality, and they're going to have to defend that. Let's bring the laptop down. Okay, show me the complaint. Um, temperance uh, and balance. We've got um, uh, a balancing as the foundation of the reading, bringing things back into balance uh, because of what was imbalanced. So, again, coming back to their decisions, uh, they may have to um, justify. There could have been some uh, some decisions that were taken that weren't properly balanced by evidence, uh, by vetting, by processes. So now it gets interesting. Okay. All right, let's see what's in the past. The um, Here we go, the whistleblower. The, it's the daughter or the... Um, or, or, or the son <laughs> uh, of swords here. So the truth, the truth coming out uh, is in the past. All right. So we've got the um, the four of wands uh, in the sky, which is telling me four of wands is usually my card for uh, the the Democrats in the in the House that there is going to be uh, an investigation, or there could be a separate investigation into just this um yeah the king of uh the king of wands it's telling me leaders are going to step forward uh and uh and take this quite seriously i feel in the house so uh dr fauci as you know has been banned or barred from appearing before the house but uh and and uh, the president, Sideshow Don, has said that he can speak in the Senate to the Republicans but not to the uh, Democratic Party uh, in the House. So um, it seems to me this is an opportunity now for the Democratic Party to really drill down on what has gone on in these past few months, which has led to such a catastrophic result. Um, we've got the four of uh, the four of swords here. Uh, it's a, around lives being sacrificed, and and I'm just putting it as bluntly as that. Um, this is where his complaint, his whistleblower's complaint, goes to actions that uh, that were taken that led to loss of life, and I can't put it as I said any more uh, simply or basically than that. Um, the Queen of Swords uh, is the environment around. This is the Democratic Party. Now, you could imagine what it is like for uh, the Democratic Party trying to uh, keep things in balance um, that are clearly out of balance in this mismanagement um, and then to have this, this come upon them now 
uh, and because it is so serious, something that led to loss of life, it needs in, it needs another investigation. Now we've got the four of cups in the uh, in, in the hopes and fears. This is this is something that was um, a big, not just a disappointment, but there is a cunning here to this disappointment as well. That's in the fear. That is the fear uh, that they if they how you know that they need to di how what are they going to find as they start to dig cronyism, people giving contracts that you know didn't just because they were friendly with with the president or this regime um how how far is this going to go we've got the pentacles here the son of pentacles now that's interesting um that's the uh the knight um let's have a look um and we've got um a decision that was made there's some there is a particular case a particular example that a de where a decision was made that I feel may have broken a law, yeah, because we've got revelations here um, from this Queen of Cups. Let's see what's at the bottom of the pack. We've got the Six of uh, Swords. The Six of Swords. A decision taken, an action taken. Um, we've got. Uh, money coming up here and we've got justice as well and the king of pentacles now where i'm going with this or the intuition i'm getting with this ace of swords is that it may have benefited benefited whatever this decision was when they dig enough uh you may find that this has been of a financial benefit to trump's family and that might be where uh, the Democratic Party might go with this. Um, there is going to be an investigation uh, on top of everything else because the decisions that were taken led to loss of life. Okay, so um, how is Trump going to handle this? Um, is he going to make Azaz, his cabinet secretary, uh, the fall guy? Uh, let's have a look. Or for girl, um, he he doesn't. It can be he's done this in the past with, I think Kirsten Nielsen as well. Um, you know when their time's up and they they've uh, attracted so much controversy. Uh, in, instead of taking it um, taking the blame himself, he will just pass the buck. Let's have a look. Um, the cabinet secretary Azars have to stand down. Will the cabinet secretary Azars? I'm feeling he will. I feel I'm feeling he's going to announce his uh, his resignation. Um, but let's have a look. Will cabinet secretary Azars step down? The mother of wands or the queen of wands. So this is a plan uh, that is in place at the moment. Are challenged by greed and avarice. So the mother of wands also is some is somebody that brings forward stability and security. But the challenge is the devil, um, the greed, the avarice, the money side of this. Will he have to settle uh, step down? We've got the Trump organization here with this ten of pentacles and big money too. Big money in politics never, uh, you know, really does mean something. It doesn't just mean lobbyists outside a president's door or a government's door. This is actually business people in the Oval Office profiting. It could even have been, my feeling is, they will link something back to Trump himself, the way that he profited. And that's really where they will go with, if they decide to move forward with an impeachment proceeding. We've got the um, Six of Swords in the past. Um, there was a time, I feel, with the Six of Swords where uh, if action was taken, then the uh, number of people that have lost their life, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have passed on. Now, I don't know how that, uh, how that, reconciles with um 
the president's oath to uh, to protect, but that's where I think the Democratic Party will take it as well. Uh, this is quite serious. This whistleblower's complaint is quite serious. We have the four of pentacles. The um, the Trump White House will hold back information as a result. There will be a lot of um, obstruction here again. Um, let's keep going. Yeah, we've got the five of um, the five of pentacles. Uh, this is downturn in the economy. So all of these bigger questions are coming into the frame now. That had action uh, been taken at a certain um, time, then uh, not only would lives have been lost, but the economy would have been spared the most brutal aspects of what is currently going on at the moment. Um, the Eight of Wands, yeah, this is, you're going to have a lot of information now emerging very, very quickly. This is a speeding up. Uh, and we've got the Daughter of Cups. So I feel that there is going to be more going to come out now. This is like things just hit, 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 hit. So I got a call, I think, to read on this today because I feel that it's just going to keep, uh, it's going to keep going. Will Azars stand down? It is looking like somebody has to be the victim because that's the other aspect of the Five of Pentacles. It is um, somebody being locked out, shut out. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, and that could be what the news that's going to come forward. Uh, there has to be a show of strength here. Uh, this is in the hopes and fears. So there's a fear that this will weaken the Trump government, that they have to. They're going to be forced into taking some kind of um, defensive action because I've got the seven of wands here, which is where we started. Um, he It could be Trump will go to his playbook again sow the seeds around um around that this may have been the cabinet secretary's um you know the cabinet secretary needs to defend himself in some way or he might plant seeds in azars in the firing line let's put it like that the nine of uh wands um boundaries um battle weary so this is azar very battle weary and the king of the King of Wands. It could even be that there are some calls within the Republican Party that uh, it's time for a new a new cabinet secretary. Um, he's under. He's going to have to defend himself. Um, I'll drill down on that. We do have balance, um, bringing balance or addressing some an imbalance. We do have the um, Queen of Swords, the Democrats in the, house, in the House investigating the need for the truth to come out. And we do have our Sun card. Um, this, vi this virus is bringing forward at a very rapid rate a lot of truths. Um, so Azaz will have to, is under attack basically, um, and he will be investigated as well. Now, uh, he could even be subpoenaed to appear before the House uh, and uh, answer some of these questions. So here we go. We've got another Ukraine on our hands. Um, this is just breaking it all open. Dr. Bright's action, again, quite courageously, has broken it all open. Uh, this mismanagement, uh, profiteering that we were we were looking at over the last um, couple of months, the uh, ignoring the cover-ups, all of that uh, that we've been through, we've talked about uh, in this forum. Let's have a look at the something's come out. We've got the uh, the emperor here. So Donald Trump is going to have to really defend himself from investigation. It's going to be investigated. Azaz is also in the firing line. Let's have a look at the seven of um, seven of wands. Uh, will Azaz, uh, after an investigation, have to stand down? Yeah, he's going to. He's going. He's going to be uh, subpoenaed here. Um, let's keep going. Yep, we've got the devil energy here. Um, this is around the money who profited, and we've got Trump organization. So something that the Democrats will have, or that the media will break, will link uh, will link this 
the president, Trump, to uh, and the Trump organization in some way, the family business in some way to this. Um, Will Azar's stand down. He certainly is going to face an investigation for his part in this as well. Show me this seven of wands. Show me Will Azar's step down. Will Azar's. Okay, what's what's happening here? We've got double temperance and balancing coming back into things by December. So this could go on for a little bit longer. Uh, but there is a balance and a healing coming forward. He could offer his resignation and apology in some way. But we've got this really, uh, again, gaslighting, uh, gas, gaslighting the nation. I do see an impeachment coming up around this profiteering. And and as I said, I'm not um, I'm not uh, I'm not across uh, the oath that that Trump uh, swore to protect Americans. But there's something along those lines as well. This is go just going to be, uh, this is just going to grow and grow. So let's have a look. Will the Democrats start impeachment proceedings around this whistleblower's complaint? Will the Democrats start another investigation? Uh, will there be some kind of preliminary investigation that could, that may or may not lead to impeachment proceedings? Okay, so will there be this um, preliminary type of in investigation announced that could that could lead to impeachment show me uh, in the house will the democratic party in the house announce a preliminary investigation of dr bright's complaints that could lead to another impeachment okay yes because we have the star of hope okay so the democrats understand they can't just ignore this um uh, the 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 uh, we've also got the hermit card, so there's going to be review um, of of uh, the reality of what was actualized into reality. They're going to take these concrete examples uh, and they're going to uh, investigate them. Um, and we've got the loss because this is pretty serious. This is, as I said, at its most basic um, level. This is about loss of life. Um, yeah, so, and also uh, loss of uh, abundance here. Um, interesting, the Empress card always uh, talks about Russia, but um, let's not put that into the frame here unless there's something that I'm missing. Uh, this is, this is, a, this is uh, in relation to American oligarchs, let's just put it like that. But what I felt before I opened up to this reading was that this is the kind of way that Russia would have been acting. This is the kind of um, actions that you would expect from an oligarchy, um, a fascist-led led state. So uh, we've got this, uh, the hanged man suspension. Um, again, I'm going back to the lockdown Um We've also got the ten of uh, the ten of swords. This is going to be quite serious for Donald Trump, and we've got heavy decisions that m may need to be made because of the loss of life. Um, seven of Pentacles is at the base of the pack. Again, the economy. We've got the five of wands. This partisanship. Um, which is the division. Uh, it's like we're seeing what doesn't work. And we've got the four of wands, uh, the Democrats, of course, chasing, getting to the truth. And this will, this will happen at a fairly rapid speed. I'm also seeing uh, temperance and healing with this King of Cups coming through. And December is the critical, uh, the critical, critical month. So by the time you get to December, which is post November election, there is a different energy uh, starting to run through your country, and we all know what that means. So um, I'm afraid the Democratic Party uh, will be now. Uh, um, I guess with everything else on everyone's plate, trying to manage this pandemic will need to slip into investigative an investigative role again. 
Um, all right, so um, I'm going to leave that there because we're going to make this reasonably short today um, compared to, you know, what I usually uh, what I usually serve up. Uh, but I did think that this was, as I said, I got a feeling I needed to read on it and I hope that, uh, you know, this was quite revealing. Um, but I do put that disclaimer out again that this, this is just for entertainment. It's not based on fact. Uh, it may or may not be correct. And if you want fact, um, then, you know, go to your mainstream media or better still uh, wait for that investigation that's coming in the house and we'll see where the truth lies. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in.